Good afternoon, YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. Just sitting in the car, I'm actually waiting for some food to get done, and I was just thinking about a situation where uh, actually a family member had just experienced. So I just wanted to drop this quick video in reference to confronting the narcissist or uh, even just trying to have an adult conversation with the narcissist pertaining about or pertaining to maybe something that they've done to you in the past. Um, you know, a scenario that you want to address. You may be seeking closure or just even wanting to just get your questions answered as to why something happened. So in this particular situation, when they asked the narcissist a question, of course, the narcissist did not answer it, which is what they do. Um, they will not directly answer a question, but the narcissist then reached back to something in the past and just started, um, you know, using a previous scenario to just hurl, you know, different situations at them, uh, insults, accusations, you know, and then at the end of the scenario, the narcissist was accusing them of being a uh, deceitful, you know, um, and dishonest and all of this stuff. And it just, it just ended up, um, just really causing the individual a great amount of emotional pain. Now, here's the thing. What I like to do is I like to focus on what is true because that is what I have found that has helped me truly understand what I'm dealing with when I deal with the narcissist and it really helped to deliver me and to give me my you know my own closure I didn't have to uh, desire closure from the narcissist I actually got closure from the Word of God uh, but, you know, and even in the word, the word tells us that it's the truth that sets us free. So I always like to focus on what is true and what is real. Like, in other words, in this particular scenario, not focusing on what the narcissist said, the different insults that they started, you know, um, firing off at you. You deal with what, what is true and here's what is true. A narcissist does not like to answer questions. They just simply will not answer it. And when they go back and, and you know, pull a scenario up and they start talking about something in the past and, and, and now they're trying to become the victim and then they start blaming you for stuff that they're actually doing. All of this stuff is intentional. It's, it's, it's an, an intentional way for the narcissist to bring conflict, chaos, and confusion into the conversation and to avoid answering the question. <laughs> like seriously, all I did was ask you a question and you know, you might find yourself sitting there just wanting to an answer to the question, but as the narcissist dances and you know, around the question, dances around even answering it and starts um, deflecting and you know bringing up any and everything from the past just understand that this is intentional this stuff is intentional the narcissist knows exactly what they are doing so basically you just wanted a question answered but by the time the conversation is over now you're you know mental mentally and emotionally upset you know, now you find yourself constantly rehearsing what happened. You know, you're, you're dazed, be, you know, confused because you don't even understand what happened. All of that stuff is intentional. You know, that's why it's really best to just avoid communication and conversation with the narcissist. You know, I am all about the no, the no contact going no contact. I am all about that. But I understand there may be some scenarios, some situations where you may not be able to do that. Um, if, if you're not, I hope that you're working on a plan. 
you know, to, to move you towards that. But however, if you're in a situation where you um, are trying to get your questions answered by a narcissist and it literally just blows up before you, just understand that that is intentional. The narcissist does not like to answer your questions. They don't want to give you closure. You know, um, they rather, uh, opposed to cleaning some of this stuff off of your plate, they rather put more on there, you know, more hurt, more harm, you know. Um, so just understand if you, if you know what you're dealing with, you know, then it kind of takes their power away because, you know, at that point you won't go to them for questions answered. And I know that this may be, um, you know, kind of hard to swallow because sometimes you really do want your questions answered. But keep in mind what I previously said, because some, I'm not going to say some, I'm going to say all closure to any scenario that you are seeking can be found in the word and can be found through the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So I just pray that I've helped you to gain understanding as to why conversations with the narcissist can just completely go away. It's intentional and the narcissist does not like to answer your questions. They rather create uh, further, um, they rather upset you and create more emotional pain and conflict opposed to giving you any type of closure. So if I've said anything that has helped you in any way, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you the next time. Have a good day.